Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at the possibility of a near-Earth object, an asteroid, comet, coming close to the proximity of planet Earth. I've had a lot of people ask here recently if that was indeed the case. Got a brand new picture slideshow. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy some really cool stuff in there I want to share with you guys, and I'm working on many many more but first right out here in the desert southwest it it may sound a bit odd to have an excessive heat warning in the desert but considering it's still april and we could see temperatures in the 103 degree range out here in phoenix in the phoenix metro area that would be quite remarkable for April and I have a feeling it's going to get that hot which would be an all-time record for the month of April even out here in the desert Miami saw an all-time record also just a few weeks ago reaching 97 degrees in April for the first time ever we could see a first time ever too right out here in the desert so i'll keep you guys posted um, it has been getting hotter i can definitely attest to that not used to these types of temperatures in april even though we are used to triple digits out here in the desert absolutely i've seen the temperature gauge on my car reach 120. i don't know how accurate that was but it was very very close so 103 is not uncommon but it's very out of bounds for the month of april it's about 15 to 17 degrees above normal as i mentioned earlier in this video i've gotten a few emails from people asking about the the possibility of maybe something new coming towards planet earth and to be honest not that i know of i watch the list here at spaceweather.com this is recent and upcoming earth asteroid encounters and the ones that are highlighted in the darker shades are the ones that are coming very close at least by space standards within the distance of the earth and the moon which is what 200 and approximately 30,000 miles you can see on the 22nd we had one at 0.4 ld that would be less than half the distance between the earth and the moon 0.7 on the 24th a little over half of the distance between the earth and the moon i've seen them as close as 0.001 you're talking just a few thousand miles above the surface of planet earth but looking at the list here at spaceweather.com not anything to worry about go over here to the nasa jpl and this is where they keep track at the near earth object website and I don't see anything coming at the planet. There's some comets out there, but they're not going to be a problem. In fact, Comet Atlas, they showed an incredible photo here from the Hubble Space Telescope. And this was an article put out yesterday from Space Weather talking about Comet Atlas is really falling apart. And they, they, they go on to show a photo here from Hubble of all things. Look at that. And you get a up close and personal look at Comet Atlas and, and what's actually going on there. And you can see multiple points of light now, some dim, some bright. But here's four main ones with some smaller ones behind it. Some back here, they're not quite sure. Even with Mighty Hubble, they're not sure how many are back here. So it's in multiple, multiple pieces. It's still on the same general path. It's going to go into to the inner solar system but we more than likely won't even see it comet swan is still inbound it's coming up from the southern hemisphere not really going to be visible to people in the northern hemisphere um, maybe a little bit but not as much as in the southern hemisphere but that is coming it's a green comet much like that of uh, atlas or how atlas used to look but here is what atlas looks like now from Hubble, pretty cool, great observation there. But as far as any near-Earth objects or any new near-Earth objects, no, guys, there's nothing coming at Earth, nothing that I've seen that would, you know, prompt any concern, nothing at all. So no worries there. I want to touch briefly on the current volcanic situation around planet Earth. Someone left a comment, and I'm not going to say who because I'm not that kind of a guy. 
But you know, when when you want to come on and 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 be nasty, you know, I have to defend myself from time to time, and this is one of those times. I just felt kind of bad for the guy because of his sheer ignorance. Says this guy sucks, and he's talking about me. He didn't report the 45 volcanoes that simultaneously went off yesterday. I'm unsubbing, and there is a reason why I didn't report on the 45, and I'm using quotation marks, volcanoes that went off simultaneously yesterday. It's because it didn't happen. There are only 45 volcanoes, and I say only because, comparatively speaking, that's really not a lot. I mean, it's less than 5% of the total volcanoes on Earth. You've got 45 at some degree of activity, but they all have not erupted in the same day. You can see here's a list of the current active volcanoes, and I'll post a link down below where you guys can check this out yourself. It says overall there are 45 volcanoes with some degree of ongoing eruptions and that was as of April the 17th. But if you look at when these things started erupting, November 25th of 2018, July 15th, this is down in Indonesia. I'm just, just giving a few examples here. July 15th of 2017, January 8th of 2016 down in Chile, uh, November 12th. 2014, United Kingdom, I got one here, 2010 over in Russia, 2018, Ecuador, 2008, goes all the way back to 1774, Vanuatu, uh, yes sir, been erupting to some degree for many, many years. So were there 45 volcanoes that erupted simultaneously in one day? Absolutely not. It's all about how you interpret this. And if you go look at the database, Holocene Volcanic List, here are 1,422 volcanoes with eruptions during the last 10,000 years. So we've got 1,422, and out of that 1,422, there are 45 that are erupting to some degree right now, and some are very, very small, just maybe smoke and gas coming out the top. We're not talking full-blown eruptions. So the, the most activity that I saw recently in one day, there were three volcanoes, maybe four in Indonesia, that towards the first of the month that erupted within a few hours of each other. That was kind of a big deal. Yeah, I, I admit that. I actually reported on that. But there's a reason why I didn't report on 45 volcanoes erupting the same day, because it didn't happen. Here's a new picture slideshow I put together of some new sky phenomena. And and I'm working on many, many more. Kingston, Oklahoma, a photo by Mike Koval, sent in by Sandy Koval. Towering supercell that produced this tornado that he got a photo of. Just incredible. Salinas, Ecuador. Some really unique sky photos here that were sent in via email a couple of days ago. Spectacular colored skies. Some pink and orange clouds going over Ecuador. And then some gravity waves rolling through the skies high above Ecuador. See those sometimes on satellite. K.N. Paranjathi out of India sent in some incredible photos from India. Purple and orange skies, light blue, and you can see some sunbeams coming out from behind these clouds that, that were quite phenomenal from over there. You can see the beams coming down there. Good photograph. Patty S. out of Oregon. Let me stop it here for a minute. This is unedited, by the way. This is exactly how I received this photograph, and that's the sun behind the clouds. The clouds are acting like a solar filter. If you've ever looked at the sun through a solar telescope with an H-alpha filter, that's what you're going to see. It's going to be even more toned down than that. But sometimes the clouds act as a solar filter. I don't know what the purple is, though. Never seen anything quite like that. Seen a lot of color up in the proximity of the sun, but never anything like that. Krakow, Poland. Video here sent in by Powell W. Have yet another spectacular jumbo halo around the sun. Seems like there's been an increase in those here recently, for sure. Seen a lot of those in email. Iowa Sunset. Photos here sent in by Milk Shark. Awesome photos coming out of Iowa. Sun just dipping down below the horizon. Beautiful orange sky. And here's some clouds after the sun disappeared. You see a unique golden line reflecting off of the clouds up in the sky. 
This next photo here was sent in by Kate from Daventry United Kingdom. She noticed something falling through the sky. I don't know what this is. Don't claim to know. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Looks like some sort of a bat wing going through the sky. It's a craft leaving a, a, a small trail behind it that looks dark. I don't know if that's a, a lighting effect, maybe where the, the angle of the sun was down low enough to where it just looked dark. I don't know. But looking at the front, the origin of the trail, can't really see much. Don't know if that's a, a, a plane. Don't know if that's some sort of debris entering the atmosphere. It almost, and here I'm enhancing the photo. I'm showing you different filter techniques. And it almost looks like a V down there. You don't really see a plane. You don't see anything long um, in the front here that would imply, hey, that's a that's an airplane or a typical jet. Doesn't look like that. Doesn't look typical at all. So just a good observation coming out of the United Kingdom. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. Freddie V out of Coney Island, New York. Another awesome jumbo halo. Crystal out of Nova Scotia. Notice something up in the sky that just didn't quite fit in. And there's a big U shape over here. That's what compelled her to take the photograph. Here it is slightly enhanced and you can see the entire structure. That's why she took the photo. Don't normally see that. Very odd feature in the sky. Don't know its origin. Very colorful sky here. Loaded with rainbow colors. Video taken from the front seat of a pickup truck. Arturus out of Lithuania. Spectacular double-decker rainbow. Missouri, Billy W. We see that every once in a while. That very sharp contrast between blue skies and a very thick layer of white clouds. And then that sharp line in between. This one also includes a partial halo in the sky. Really cool. Much like this here out of Saxe, Texas, sent in by Brandon F. A little video and some pictures here of a unique structure up in the sky. Almost looks like some sort of a weird vortex that's horizontal. Caught his attention, so he took some photos and then this little video clip. Those were in just uh, slightly different formats, but there it is. There's the little video of something super unique in the sky above Texas. Great job, guys. You are definitely wide awake and on the ball. And if you guys are new viewers to the YouTube channel, make sure you go over and subscribe. Click on that red button. Also, click on the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, double check. Make sure they're both still activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.